So I'm Professor David Lockie. I'm the National Director for the Emergency Medical Retrieval Service in, in Wales. Um, I had a long background working in pre-hospital emergency medicine and other air ambulances in the UK and I've also been um, involved in the development of pre-hospital emergency medicine nationally. When I was approached um, as part of the recruitment process for National Director, um, I was very much aware of the service, but when I started to look into it in a little bit more detail, I found that it was a really dynamic service that was delivering a really high quality service. And I'd learned a lot from uh, some of the painful evolution of other services nationally, um, but it introduced an awful lot of really good operating practices, and I was really keen to be part of that service. Air ambulances in the UK and um, and in Europe have evolved tremendously in the last 20 years. Um, initially there was an idea that basically helicopters are fast ambulances and that's a, a very outdated concept. What we try and do is deliver an advanced medical team to the scene and what they do at that scene is they provide necessary time critical interventions and then move the patient seamlessly to the hospital that can best deal with their, uh, with their problems. Timelines are really important in, in the work that we do. The concept of the golden hour is a very outdated concept and was very arbitrary and was been, has been substantially discredited now. What we need to look at is what the patient pathway involves. And it involves a, a, a first response from the ambulance service, uh, a response from us. Sometimes that involves doing time critical event interventions on scene. But for things like trauma, the trauma network, which is now operating successfully here in Wales, looks at the time for the patient from um, from injury all the way through to definitive care. One of the most important things that we do in terms of timelines is taking the patient to the right hospital. In, a, in the case of a trauma patient, it may well be a trauma centre. So timelines can be quite confusing in that sometimes the things that are most important are done on scene, but sometimes the um, improvement in timelines are actually getting to the appropriate hospital in time and that can be the difference between minutes in terms of response times but actually hours saved in terms of going to the correct hospital. So to the answer the question about unmet demand the most important thing is having data on, on what the demand is and we're really lucky here in Wales that we've got really high quality data, much higher quality data than most air ambulances have got to base their service delivery on. So the motivation both for the charity and for the NHS part of the organisation EMERTS um, it's unusual in that this has not been about funding, this is not about saving money, this is about using the existing resources that we have to provide a better service. We know if we can get to more than 500 patients a year that we are going to save more lives and so it's very difficult not to move forward on some of these proposals. So we recognise that um, changing the location of our bases and our working hours uh, will provide concerns for local communities. But having seen the data and understood it as clinicians, it's really we can It's not something that we can ignore because we know that if we see more than 500 patients more per year, we will save more lives.